most people don't think they have time to exercise, but I'm gonna show you how taking just simple 10 minutes can make such a difference, and you'll just be doing things that you normally do. So this morning, I am making some oatmeal. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on, and I'm gonna start my timer, and I'm just gonna move in place. You know, we say, oh, I don't have time. I can't get up any earlier than I already am, and there's no way to squeeze it in. But I'm gonna show you how doing some very basic, very simple, um, movements can make such a difference and help you get to that place of feeling good, feeling more toned. Now it's not an overnight thing, but this is something you could do at home. And right now I'm making some oatmeal for breakfast, but you could do this at lunch when you're cooking something and it's just simple. But I want you to start thinking, how can I incorporate being more active? getting movement in my day. So I've got some water in this pot. I've got my oats already here, a cup. And I like these oats, by the way. It's one degree organic foods. They're sprouted and they are gluten-free certified. So if you have any kind of gluten sensitivity or celiac, this is the perfect brand. You can get it at Costco. Um, but I'll put a link because it's a, it's a great product and we have oatmeal several times during the week. Sometimes I'll even double the recipe. So anyway, you can just do movements. So even if you're that person that says, uh, I can't move that fast, I've got some limitations, you could easily just hold on, all right? Or maybe it's a balance issue, maybe you've had an injury. If you do this a few times, you're gonna to start to feel the burn. Maybe in the beginning, all you can do is lift your leg. Then do that, okay? If you can, go ahead. Maybe you can't do it that high. And then do the other leg. But just simple movements like this. Now, eventually, hopefully, you can get to where you can start your hand. You can start and build up to where you're doing your arms, you're moving, you're turning and twisting. That's good for the waistline. Make sure that you suck in and hold that and also breathe. You wanna stand tall, but again, you determine how fast or how slow. So maybe for you, you can't go that high, so you just kick instead. But I'm just trying to get you to see how just in 10 minutes, you can get some movement, you can get some exercise, and you decide the things. Work on those thighs. Again, in the beginning, maybe just do something simple like this. All right, so far, we've had, let's see, three minutes, not quite boiling. Normally, people are on their phones, doing anything, watching TV, but just think they're getting some exercise. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see, and you're just kicking, and you can do anything. You can change it up, you can do different steps, and then change. Again, keep breathing. But you can probably hear that my heart rate is up just in my voice. So this goes to show. Now, it's not so much that you're gonna be sweating profusely and you need to go shower. But this is just something that you could do. Again, when you move your arms and you add arms, it raises the heart level even more so. If you find yourself feeling winded, then you just go ahead and you can walk in place. Now, my water's boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead, put my oats in, and I'm gonna stir. Now, another thing, that you could do that also. Right. Let that boil a little bit. But just even bouncing. Again, if your balance isn't good, then you hold on to something. Now, this is really important because as people age, often balance becomes an issue. A lot of falls are because 
people get their feet sort of caught up, uh, they misstep. So it's really important that we continue to work on balance, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep moving and go back to just some basic steps. Again, you can slow it down if you need to. The nice thing is you control this. So if you know that person that says, oh, I never have time, maybe you're that person. But this is something that you can do, 10 minutes. So right now we have four minutes. So six minutes I've been moving. And so this is just a good way to work on the body. I like these because these tend to be ones, like I said, work the waistline. And don't we wanna do that? So oats are very good in the morning. They have a lot of soluble fiber, help you feel full. So, and again, I always wanna buy organic and these are certified organic and gluten-free. All right, twisting. Twisting. We're down to three minutes. Work on the areas that you want. And change it up. I'm obviously no fitness trainer, but just to show, we make things much harder. The body doesn't know that I'm not a trainer. Keep working. We're down to two and a half minutes. Again, the oatmeal's not quite ready, and so it's fine that you could do this and um, get your bowl, get your milk. You put a little bit of cinnamon. I like blueberries in mine, as well as dried cranberries and even dried dates, chopped up. Actually, I often put the dates in as I prepare it. Delicious, adds a natural sweetness. And so that's always really good. All right, so again, you hear my heart rate's going up, you hear it in my voice. So I'm getting that little 10 minutes. Now, what are some other things? What about, for example, you're fixing the lunch or your work and you're waiting for you're copying things. You're standing at the copy machine and providing it. It's not out in public, but why not do something like this? Okay, you don't need a lot of space. I can do this in uh, a small little cubicle, all right? And then also dinner, and then you start up the rice. You're sauteing, and it's something that you have to watch. Making gravy, so many ways you could incorporate this and then, like I said, when you're stirring, you could be doing something simple like just bouncing. Because again, that's still movement. And so, it's easy to do. Down to 47 seconds. So we keep moving, we keep moving. And then after, what I like to do is just do maybe some stretching type things. This works the inner thighs. And you wanna make sure this knee is not protruding out further than my foot. And so you're really leaning back. If you lean back a little bit too much, you're gonna fall backwards. So you wanna go ahead and do that. Again, you're holding in, holding your chest up. Switch sides. Again, making sure your body is aligned. You're thinking about your day. And uh, it just feels good. Okay, I'm down to just a few seconds. I might wanna do something like this, similar thing. I'm working, there we go, do you see? So 10 minutes, so I have oatmeal ready, but I've also got a little workout in, and uh, just a great way to start the day. And honestly, you know, later in the day you could do it, but think of the times that you can fit in, what are things that you could do in 10 minutes? If you only have five minutes, that's better than no minutes. So give it a try, give me some ideas. What are other uh, ways that you can squeeze a little workout into your day? You don't have to go and try to find 
10 minutes or five minutes, it's there. It's just a matter of what you do with it. And so where are those moments in time where you could be fitting just a slight workout in? I'd love to know more. So this is Coach Maggie for helping you find health and wellness God's way. Take care, and of course, as always, God bless.